Okay. Then mm, this is yes, the sir. ideal blast wave. 
it is a yes, yeah it has a first ta means arrival time ta plus t means mm-hmm. total uh, positive wave uh, wave uh, duration ta plus t plus t minus means negative wave duration okay on this oh, okay, axis p uh, on y axis there is a our blast pressure on x axis there is time yes sir okay. there is the total three times are there uh, in the calculation a one is the arrival time one is the total time in that positive phase time negative phase time mm-hmm. but generally mm-hmm. uh, this negative phase this is a section pressure it is very less as compared to this triangular wave so generally ideally yes, we sir. take this triangle only for analysis okay okay, okay. Mm-hmm. okay sir. so this is variation of over pressure with the distance at time the same diagram it is but a little bit more elaborate okay yes sir uh, can you explain about dynamic pressure and incidence pressure sir like uh, in that first paper also like uh, as we see in the building mm-hmm. they mentioned about over pressure here they mentioned like dynamic pressure incidence over pressure a uh, dynamic pressure it is a uh, sudden pressure it has a less intensity okay uh this okay, incident uh, the over pressure it is a major wave uh, that uh, that occurred on the structure okay okay ha huh, sir okay uh, then, reflected pressure means after occurring uh, sir can, could you explain about the reflected pressure reflected pressure when the blast wave incident on the structure then uh, there is a, one uh, reaction reaction wave from the structure it it is based okay. on the newton's third law action versus reaction so that is the reflected okay. pressure okay okay sir like uh, then what is about over pressure sir like how can i explain about over pressure okay. yes sir yeah so here over pressure uh, what i will do i will share this all blast wave terminology with you uh, recently i have done one uh, whole project on the blast wave only okay okay sir ha huh. i will share this this is here um this is one of a uh, project done by my firm so here all the uh, terminology is mentioned in details okay okay sir hmm the dynamic pressure it is a pressure effect of air mass movement okay okay sir hmm so i will share this or i will reflected pressure Over pressure is uh, a yeah. okay, reflection hmm. of shock wave. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Side yes, side wave pressure. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. So I will share this terminology. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Then this is the blast load wave calculation. So while you're calculating the blast load. uh we need to have a we need to assume the radial distance okay means from which uh, okay. distance it is because we cannot predict from where a terrorist can attack so we need to assume mm-hmm. r we need to assume the w also because we cannot predict how much weight of the uh, blast uh, the terrorist is carrying okay yes sir so that is there so these two things we need to assume uh r and w from this scale distance we can measure okay 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 hmm. uh, this graph is very very important uh, i will share this uh, manual also with you okay sir like ha huh, sir yes tell me oh uh, sir like uh, in the previous paper can you open the previous slides sir yeah hold on sir okay sir Yes. Sir, so in this paper, like uh, while calculating the blast wave, we need to consider only these two only, sir. Like only scale distance. That I am telling you. And, I am telling you from the board. Okay. Just hold on a second. Okay. Okay. So this technical manual I can I will share with you. Okay. 
you can okay. show this your to your guide for the reference okay i have okay. highlighted the major part also okay okay sir hmm. okay so here uh, z we 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 have calculated r upon q root w okay okay sir hmm. then name of the explosion over okay, and all the things are mentioned there okay okay sir hmm. this is from this diagram you will see the side side down over pressure side down over pressure this is the reflected work okay yes yeah now coming back to the uh, our calculation of uh, blast load so this is very very important diagram uh, this is called as a pressure diagram okay yes sir so we have calculate z uh, means uh, scale distance then we need to yes, represent this graph on y axis there is uh, unitless numbers are there on uh, x yes, axis z is there and there are some graphs so this red line yes. is represented pr then there is this is pso then ir so here we need to take three to we can take three to four values pr means reflected pressure pso uh, and then ta and t0 ta means uh, arrival time t0 means overall time okay the pso means what sir sorry pso pso means over over uh, overall pressure over pressure peak over pressure right sir yeah yeah peak over pressure hmm. yes sir okay so okay, uh, you need to uh, you need to see z value from your assumption r upon q group w like that then you will get pr and all so after that yes sir we need to calculate this is very very important term decay coefficient okay okay sir hmm. yeah so decay coefficient d it is z square hmm. minus 3.72 z plus 4.2 and after that uh, time history profile uh, is created okay so what is the use of time history profile sir it is used to uh, apply pressure because blast load it is nothing but a uh, time history load okay okay ha huh. so this pressure will vary as per the time so i will show you one example okay sir ha huh. so this is one of a problem solved by us z okay uh, this is a internal pressure internal uh, pressure we have calculated r we assume 2 uh, weight we assume uh, 25 kg so from graph okay. we got this value then we calculate ta t0 okay then peak pressure so in every case we assume a t okay so here yes uh, prinnell's equation t is our pressure pso means peak positive pressure uh at okay. any time okay and uh, okay, t0 mm -hmm. is our total time duration okay so mm -hmm. from this we will, we will get the graph like this okay sir ha huh. we will get graph like this okay ha ah, okay sir hmm and this graph we will apply on the our uh, p mos structure whatever we need to analyze okay okay sir hmm okay. then these are the modes of failure yes sir so generally means in this diagram shock wave is considered okay so this okay. drags shock wave shock wave from the explosion ha ah, sir so this is the okay reflective pressure so this this diagram this diagram is considered uh, as in load for this beam okay mm -hmm. and the failure is these are the flexor cracks okay as this is a simply supported beam this is as in structural engineer this will be like this yes sir like this okay
okay and the cracks will form like this and after this blast wave this expelling will be there means this part will be filled okay sir ha sir ha sir sir can you explain about the what is the global failure and the local failure sir global mention like ha sorry here they mention like in the diagram c they mention like global shear plug damage sir can you explain these terminology sir like uh, when the compression damage and the reflected stress wave spalling mm -hmm. spalling is the a uh, portion of uh, part is cut permanently that is called as spalling okay 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 sir mm, this i okay. heard uh, this i need to study it. it's a global shear plug damage okay then these are the okay. uh, cracks uh, form due to this sir, this is the thing i need to mention more and more like uh, my topic is completely related to this diagram sir like i yeah, 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 sure, sure. the See, in general uh, cracks we you know uh, this, this happens at the bottom okay shear compression damage it, it is uh, if you consider a neutral axis after the uh, above the neutral axis there is a compression zone so here shear yes, compression sir. damage is there in the compression zone below below the neutral axis there are the flexural cracks and spelling is there spelling is nothing but the permanent damage of the structure okay and uh, mm -hmm. this global shear plug damage it is i think related to because in finite element analysis there are two coordinate axis one is local coordinate system and second one is the global coordinate system so it it must be related to uh, global coordinate system but i am not sure i need to study and then i will revert back okay sir that. you can study about this thing and you can explain me later also sir yeah yeah okay, <laughs> okay sir hmm. so these are uh, again the same thing uh, mentioned in the diagram okay shear cracks vertical flexure cracks due to blast flow sir yes sir you mentioned about ha uh, sir uh, like uh, uh you in the first the a diagram you have mentioned about frp rupture sir no 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 it is a uh, i will delete this diagram uh, because it is related to blast load and the this beam only okay later on uh -huh. we will uh, study the effect of frp and how it can uh, prevent uh, no, sir, like till now uh, i uh, uh, my guy said like no need to add about frp just only discuss about blast okay. and beam okay okay so i will delete this no issues okay sir so, huh. and how how can i explain these diagrams sir because diagrams is the more important to explain the things yeah yeah just one thing is remaining uh, for the explanation from my side this this one the, this global okay. shear plug mm -hmm. damage that i will study yes, and sir. i will explain to you or i i will message you okay okay sir uh, no sir it's better to like uh, interaction only like yeah, yeah, sure. uh, because i need to ha huh? and then next uh, uh, thing is there this is the finite element analysis uh, software so it can mm -hmm. be analysis abacus sap it has whatever we can choose stat pro okay so yes, uh, generally we take abacus or ansys for this kind of result so uh, here the spall spallation is there uh, main cracks uh, compression fragment uh, compression fragment so, sir, how can i explain these thing in as a student sir like in front of faculty you tell me this is the general representation how this kind of work i am going to do uh, in after this stages means after the approval means i am going to mm -hmm. model a rcc beam i will calculate mm -hmm. a blast load wave i will apply that up to the failure and uh, up to this kind of means i will increase the intensity of explosion until the beam fail like this in the fea software because physically experimentation for blast load it is not possible okay uh, mm. blast load analysis it cannot be done and it is illegal uh, illegal practice okay and it can be a dangerous okay. thing so we have to use a fea software for this okay like it is not a compression test or bending test uh, like that that we can perform yes. okay yes ma'am yeah oh uh, ha sir then about this uh, ex uh, exfoliation sir exfoliation Sorry. sorry exfoliation sir exfoliation uh yeah again this image added by my staff i i need to study this and i will revert 
Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So these are the LR. Uh, this uh, this uh, will be done by my staff. This uh, documentation part. Okay. Uh, this is what I want, sir. Like I need to explain about these things, sir. Literature review, sir. So. Sorry. Yes, sir. I need to about explain these things, sir. In the, no, that, the documentation they have written, like uh, yes, sir. See, uh, the thing is that this uh, this papers is provided by you only. If you just yes, sir. Written, I'm not right, You will get a clear idea what they have done. Okay, it is not a big deal. Okay. By reading abstract. Yeah, yeah. Just you can read the abstract only. You just. Uh, go through word by word, then you will get a, a whole idea of what the, uh, this author is going to do uh, in the whole paper. Okay, sir. In the uh, sir, like in this literature review, uh, like I said, like I want ten papers, no, sir. Okay, paper. Uh, we will add. We will add more uh, six to seven papers. Don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. And then the thing, uh, like uh, one minute, sir. Like uh, if you explain about to what they have done in the this thing, like in each in, in each paper, then it will be better for me sir to understand the things. Like so, like uh, you written uh, like uh, what what I want to say that uh, in the documentation uh, you written like very big paragraphs, no, sir. Sorry. In the documentation, sir. Like uh, you are student. Mm -hmm. Done something like uh, they written uh, literature review, right? Yes, yes. So, uh, sir, like, uh, I want explanation from them, sir. Like, because if they say like what they have done in the uh, documentation, then it will be better for me, sir. Because otherwise, uh, I need to study, uh, sir. Yeah, I need to come listen, to sir. Now, the next uh, part, sir. I will tell you. Uh, my staff will add LR in this. You tell us the format, how uh, you want it in that. Okay. Hello. Okay, sir. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm telling you from that whole literature review, I cannot explain to you. Okay. Hello. Oh, okay. Huh, sir. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Just we, are, we will brief in that uh, uh, what is uh, what the author has done so far. Huh, sir. Okay. Huh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, then, then uh, remaining part I will explain you tomorrow. Okay. Oh, uh, not I, tomorrow, sir. Like uh, today night only, like because tomorrow is the like, deadline, sir. No, only In this today? explanation. Uh, the see, uh, these two parts I need uh, need to study this exploration and. Sir, one uh, more diagram, sir. Like, uh, can you go back, sir? Like uh, previous slides, before, uh, before, 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 yeah. before. Ah, uh, uh, sir. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Next one, sir. Next one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No, sir. You are going before, like, uh, uh, come back, sir. Back. back. No, sir. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, next. Can you tell next. me the slide number? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, just a minute, sir. Like, 10th, uh, 11th slide, I think, sir. 11th slide. 11th? Yes, sir. This one. Uh, no, sir. 12th, uh, uh, 12th slide. Can you open the 12th slide, well, sir? Yeah. Uh, this one only, sir. Like, in this, uh, like, below you have mentioned, like, uh, as distance increases, peak over value decreases. Peak pressure value decreases. Yes, it is right. Absolutely right. Uh, sir, can you explain about this diagram, sir? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. See, it is mentioned that as distance increases, Peak value because obviously the intensity of pressure will be decreases as the decrease distance will increase. Okay. Yes, sir. 